Hi, this is Margo. This is Thursday, October 12th, 2017. And today I'm going to talk to you about forgiveness and how it's crucial in the healing process and why you need to forgive. First of all, when we're hurt, when we're abused, and all of us have been, not one of us is perfect, not one of us is not damaged. Everyone has experienced some kind of abuse during their lifetime. We carry that in our energy bodies, and it manifests in the physical body as blockages and can actually cause a lot of damage to the physical body can open us up for all kinds of physical things to happen it can lower your immune system it can also open you up to being attached by dark entities and also when you carry that anger around and that resentment you're still attached to the abuser you're still tethered to them and the abuser might still be alive or they might be dead and it doesn't matter if you have not released that anger then you're still attached to the situation and that anger goes inward and you don't know how to deal with it and when I work with people I see these attachments I also see the abuse that's happened and I feel the abuse I can feel the original abuse the original situation that happened I can feel it and see it and describe it to the person a lot of time people have shut down on their feelings this is very common especially if you've had childhood abuse and um, you've been taught to not trust your own feelings and so they've shut down to their feelings and it's not good because the body is how we interface here and if you shut down your feelings then you shut down what your body is trying to tell you it's important to feel your feelings whatever they are we didn't come here to just be happy we didn't come here to just experience the good things this is a lie and you know when people come to me they say well I want to be happy I want to be free well what does that mean and there are all different kinds of healing that can take place not just physical healing but if you're healed emotionally and spiritually many times the physical healing will follow but when we harbor all of these emotions of hate and resentment and anger in our in our subconscious and unconscious minds and in our conscious minds and when we harbor that even if we're justified in feeling those feelings if we don't get beyond that true healing will never happen and this is what I tell people too and so when you turn these feelings inward it her only hurts you it doesn't hurt the abuser the abuse this, the hurt has already happened it's already happened and so what Satan does 
is comes in he comes in and knows that that's your Achilles heel and knows that you're still hurting and you're still angry and whatever your weakness is he's going to play on that whether you go to food or alcohol or drugs or pills or sex or whatever whatever is closest or another relationship and unless you've healed that up that wound up you're going to attract the same kind of person who abused you in the first place and then you're set up because that's how it's programmed and that's what's in your energy field that's what's in the pattern and so you have failed relationships one right after another and you don't understand what's going on you don't understand why you keep attracting the same kind of person in the same kind of situation and it can play out in work situations too you're just attracted to one one abusive boss after another and um, it doesn't matter it just keeps playing out over and over and over until you finally get to the root of the problem and it can take years it can really take years and you need to be able to realize that this is not a quick fix but the fastest way to get over this is a spiritual answer and not only with implant removal and I can do my part to remove the energetic imprints and re help you uh, get free of any tethers or entities or demons that might be attached to you but you have to do your part too because unless you realize where this came from and what your temptations are going to be and what your weaknesses are then it's going to keep playing out over and over and over but true healing only comes from God true healing is divine and time is so short we don't have a lot of time to go into long drawn out spiritual practices of meditation and quieting the mind I mean that's good and that's really a good tradition I went through that but it took me many years to learn to quiet the mind and even after I had kundalini experiences and third eye opening and all this stuff the true healing and the true awakening doesn't come until you really surrender and give up and ask for Jesus to come into your life and I know a lot of people are going to be resistant to saying I need Jesus they don't think he, they need him they haven't known him and they've been so programmed against Jesus and asking for help asking for his help and this is how Satan works has infiltrated the different belief systems and um, turned people against and away from the idea of Jesus and it's really sad and it's really unfortunate because until you really surrender and give up and open your heart and ask for Jesus and God to help you with your issues and your problems and ask for forgiveness and then he forgives you and you then you are able to forgive your abuser or abusers because you realize finally that everyone down here is a victim 
Everyone in this dark 3D matrix is a victim and we are all victims and until you realize that it's really hard to let go because with your ego you feel justified and with your ego you feel like you need revenge and that person has better pay for whatever they did to you and as long as you hold that kind of mindset your healing will never be complete but once you do open your heart and realize that you can't figure it out in your head and give up on techniques and rituals and things that you've tried to do in the past and just open up your heart then the healing can come in and once you ask he will come you may have to ask several times and you may need help with this but he is the ultimate healer and he came here to show us how to live and to help us he came here as our brother he is divine and came here and manifested in human form and suffered just the way we are suffering and suffered many times over but he never turned his back on God and he knew that he was not from this place he knew this world was not his home and many of us know that this world is not our home and we came here for a specific purpose and a lot of people have not realized their purpose or their mission and some people their highest mission is yet to happen it may happen right at the very end but in order to accomplish that you have to let go of your desires your wants what you feel like you really want out of this world and give it up to God and Jesus for our highest good and a lot of people don't want to do that this is a whole different way of thinking another thing that will really help is I, I recommend if you've been in an abusive relationship and you're struggling with letting go you're struggling with forgiveness you're struggling with addictive behaviors and you're caught in that prison with those addictive behaviors and you just really can't let go of them is a group called CODA or Codependence Anonymous that will really help because you're able to talk about your feelings and get in touch with your feelings and the people in CODA are non-judgmental and will help you understand the cycle of the abuser and what it how how you became so codependent in the first place and how to release all of those behaviors and patterns and it takes a while so that in conjunction with saying prayers and asking for Jesus to come and help you and God to help you and your angels to help you then great healing can happen but you really have to surrender your own ego and your own will and now is the time because I do believe we are the in the end times in the very end times and it's time to let go of anything that's holding you back here 
let go of anger, hostility, and fears and know that there is a better way but it's not going to be found here on this earth plane it's only going to get worse so that's my message for today my name is Margo I'm a hypnotist holistic life coach and empathic spiritual healer my website is margoshealingcorner.com and I encourage you to go within let go of your anger and resentment let go of what your head says and go with your heart and open your heart today time is short and the only healing comes from God may God bless you and go in peace goodbye